Yo, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, and because the Lenovo Legion Go is a Windows 11 device, I've unfortunately had to have used Windows 11 for the last month or so, and I'm gonna be using it going forward. And because of that, I've been looking into a lot of software to kind of bring back a lot of Windows 10 features that are, for some reason, Windows 10 exclusive and are just really nice to have. And in the meantime, I also found some really cool software that just helps me in my day-to-day, -day, uh, mainly making YouTube videos and the like, but it's also helped in non-YouTube video things, which is really neat. And I figured since I now know about all the software, I might as well share it. It's all free. It's all open source. It's all very, very nice stuff. Um, the first bit of software for that is File Converter. And I want to almost use this as a PSA to tell you, do not get it from FileConverter.org. Get it from FileConverter.io. FileConverter.io is the open source free version. No pop-ups, no nothing. It just works. FileConverter.org is some company, Zamzar, that took the open source project put like their own little PNG on it. And they also give you a bunch of pop-ups and stuff on your computer. It's not technically a virus, but it's damn near close to being one. Uh, make sure you download it from .io. I'll have all this stuff linked in the description, by the way. So you can just download it very directly from there and not get caught by, you know, scam stuff like this. So yeah, from FileConverter.io, just hit download, you run it. And what that lets you do is any video, image, audio file, whatever, anything that you need to convert, Instead of having to look up a converter online, you can just right click it, go to the file converter menu, and then just convert it instantly, right? So it's a PNG. There you go. Just converted pic.jpg to pic.png. I can open up the JPG one. Right? Let's just use the Microsoft Photos thing for now. You can see this is pic.jpg. Open up the PNG one. You can see this is pic.png. Uh, it's the same file. They're the same image. It works. It's, it's literally the exact same thing, it just converts it locally on your machine in the right-click menu, which is insane. A very similar piece of software that does something kind of similar, but in a, in a little bit of a different way, is Microsoft Power Toys, which I will have linked in the description as well. You just want to go to the Release tab here, uh, find Machine Wide X64, download the setup.exe, and you'll get Power Toys which will open up like this, or most likely like this, where you have a whole bunch of stuff going on. There's a lot of really cool stuff here, and, and a lot of it's pretty straightforward, right? Find my mouse, press left control twice, and it finds the mouse. Boom. If you ever lost your mouse, this is actually a great feature, and you can see it even tracks your mouse and stuff, which is super neat. A lot of very cool features here, and it's from Microsoft themselves, which is insane that a lot of the stuff isn't in Windows. Like, these would be amazing base features, but I guess they're too confusing for regular users. You also got like always on top to, you know, keep a window on top of other, you just a lot of cool stuff like that. But the main stuff I want to highlight are fancy zones, which let you, you know, when you drag to the top and it has all these resize options and like, you know, where you can resize the window and move them about and whatever, which a lot of people use, uh, you can change those in fancy zones. So you can just open launch layout editor, make your own custom layouts and whatever way you want. And then when you're done with that, make sure you scroll down a little bit and where it says override Windows snap, which is the Windows default, you just turn that on. And then you can have all your custom layouts that way, which is a super neat feature. And the more important feature that I find myself using all the time as a YouTuber is imagery sizer. A lot of times I keep having images that are just the incorrect size. And it's, it's always been really annoying. I'll like maybe make a thumbnail too small or something. And what this does is if I right click pick.jpg here, first off, you'll notice there's a lot of different things like, you know, power rename, whatever. But if you hit resize with image resizer, you click that, you can resize it however you want. So for whatever reason, I wanted this to be a 4K image, which I definitely don't. I can now make it a 4K image, right? 3840 by 2160. You know, ignore orientation of pictures, make smaller or larger. You have a lot of different options here. You can overwrite the existing file. I'm not going to do that. You just hit resize, and there we go, we got pick custom.jpg. And you can see, I mean, you can't really see, but it is larger, it's a higher quality image right there. If I right click and go to properties, and check out the detail section, you can see it has been resized. Super useful stuff. Uh, that and fileconverter.io, do not get it from .org, yet again, warning, do not get it from .org, .io. Super useful stuff right there. Uh, the next thing is also really neat. It's called OpenShell. Uh, you go to the releases tab here. You just download the .exe file. You do your setup. And what this lets you do is when you press the Windows button, the start menu, uh, you can see 
I have a much nicer looking start menu, a lot more functional. If I use the search bar, it'll actually search properly. But this just gives me access to a lot of very convenient things a lot easier, right? Settings, control panel, printers, network connection. The things you'd actually want out of the start menu are there. And the search bar is still there and I can still search for things, right? So I, I can look up, for example, Discord. Uh, and I'm going to have to censor like half of this because it's pulling up personal files on my computer and stuff. But you can see right at the top, Programs Discord. If I press Enter, go to Discord. I can also go down the menu and click on Discord, whatever. A lot of very neat stuff like that. Uh, and also, you notice the entire thing is customized in a much better style. To do that, you just right-click the Start menu, hit Settings. And you can change a lot of settings here. The default looks something like this. You can make it Classic style, two columns, Windows 7 style. I do Classic with two columns. You then have a skin. I like using Immersive on dark mode. And hit show all settings as well. And another thing I really like to change is under search box right here. Uh, you'll see at the bottom where it says search the internet. I have that turned off because whenever I'm looking for a program, whenever I'm looking for Discord or OBS or whatever with the search bar, I'm not trying to find Discord.com. I'm trying to find the program. So I have that turned off. Super, super useful stuff. You can customize it even further bunch of different crazy stuff going on here uh but yeah super useful thing there as well and the final piece of software i want to highlight is explorer patcher which like i said like everything else also linked in the description uh if you scroll down a bit you have ep setup.exe you run through that and it'll get you set up and to access that once it's all installed and everything just right click anywhere on the empty space on your taskbar hit properties which is now an option It'll then pull up this nice looking super sleek menu where you can change a lot of super useful things. Right, the main things I like using is where it says combine taskbar icons on primary and secondary taskbar. It's defaulted to never combine, which lets you see like the name. So for example, on my browser, if I have a YouTube video video open, it'll say like youtube.com and video whatever on my taskbar. Instead, I just want the icons, and to just get the icons, just you always combine, and you'll just have the icons. But the most important one, by far, and, and pretty much the only reason I even installed this in the first place, uh, although that is also a nice feature, is this thing right here under File Explorer, where it says Disable the Windows 11 Context Menu. If I turn this back off, and I hit Restart File Explorer, which is what you want to do to actually apply the patches it'll do some funky stuff a lot of the time if i go back to the folder we were just at earlier you can see if i right click we no longer have access to file converter the power tool stuff is still there but there's a lot of other things that are either missing or moved like for example rename file there's nothing here that says rename you have to know that this tiny little icon up here is the rename file thing and to access the windows 10 one you'd have to hit show more options and now you have something that just says rename the least right very simple stuff that you just want access to instead of having to do that every time just hit this disable windows 11 context menu hit restart file explorer it'll then apply the patch and you'll be good to go there's a lot of other stuff that they can change as well a lot of different things go through in here i haven't changed pretty much any of it outside of that but that's a super super neat feature it's it's almost a must-have uh and yeah that's all the different stuff i've installed for windows 11 to make it work better and just be nicer overall. Uh, hopefully you guys found this video useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any other really cool software that you'd recommend having installed as well for convenience or whatever. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.